Hi, I'm Randa Legend, and in case you weren't aware by the whole cool intro, you're watching Tuesdays with me. So you probably know about some pretty weird foods, but I bet you haven't heard of a few of the of a few of the ones I'm about to talk about. These are the top ten weirdest foods I found, and this is my list. So, um, ten durian fruits. So. Have you heard of a fruit being so smelly it's actually illegal in a lot of places? Well, if you did, you probably would have heard of the durian fruit, a spiny green fruit from Southeast Asia which has been named the smelliest fruit in the world, with an odor that can be compared to sewage or body odor. In fact, it is illegal to have this in Southeast Asia subways and completely illegal in many other countries. Although this fruit is ra has a rather unpleasant odor, it doesn't actually taste that bad, though I would suggest holding your nose while eating. Nine is Eskimo ice cream. Now, as delicious as this may seem, the Eskimos don't make ice cream the way we do. See, Eskimo ice cream is actually made from reindeer fat and other various animal fats like seal or moose. Other ingredients involve fish, berries, and dried salmon eggs. Sounds tasty, huh? Unlike most ice creams, Eskimo ice cream does not have any sweetener, so it's actually more salty than anything. But if you go to other parts of Alaska, you may find Alaskan ice cream with actual sugar and natural sweeteners included, which may be the best thing to start with before you go out traditional Eskimo ice cream Sunday party style. 8. Pufferfish I don't know about you, but I'm not too crazy about any food that can potentially kill me if I eat it. But puffer fish is extremely popular in Japan, actually the most famous delicacy you can eat in the country. Although the puffer fish skin and intestines have a very toxic element that is over 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide, people seem to love it not worrying a bit that they could be sleeping in the morgue later on that night. Luckily, though, you have to be specially trained just in the art of cooking pufferfish to even begin to serve it, and to open the restaurant, your, exp your experience and know-how must be extensive. 7. Bird Nest Soup So you're probably thinking, oh, clever name, but it can't really be made from bird's nests, right? Wrong. They're made from the bird nests of swiftlets. Yay, cool name. Unlike most birds, though, swiftlets make their nests mostly out of saliva. Mmm, bird spit. This jelly-like saliva stew is actually one of the most expensive meals a human being can ever consume because you can only collect swiftlet nests three times a year, and the process is dangerous. Swiftlets build their nests in coastal caves, and failing to reach one can have very big consequences. Six, head cheese. Believe it or not, this delicacy has nothing to do with cheese. In fact, it's made when you skin the head of a sheep, goat, or cow and boil it down. It is then added to cooking liquid and is ready to devour. Because of the fats from the head skin, the, when the cheese sets, it's more like gelatin than anything else and is often cut up and served on sandwiches or just alone. Head cheese is probably one of the most interesting things that will ever grace your t taste buds. 5. Kopi Lawak This Indonesian coffee is extremely rare and expensive. Why? Well, it's made from, wait for it, Luwak excrement. Luwaks are Indonesian cat-like creatures that feast on rare coffee cherries. The cat can't digest these cherries and so they poop them out whole. They ferment in the cat's stomach, so when they come out, they have a special aroma and flavor. Well, I can give you a guess on what it is. It's probably something like, I don't know, cat poop. Four, snake wine. May not be considered food, but I felt snake wine should make the list. I mean, come on. It's called snake wine. Snake wine is a rice wine with a venomous snake inside, and apparently it has medical purposes. 
But don't worry about the poison. The snake is left for several months to ferment in the wine, which negates the poison completely, making it so safe a baby could drink it. Not that I would recommend that. And that nice rosy color it has is actually due to the blood leaking out of the dead snake. Just thought I should throw that out there. Three. Ballot. Baloo. Ba bal Ballot. Now, I wouldn't eat this under any circumstances, but everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Ballot is a halfway developed duck or chicken that is boiled within the egg before hatching. They look disgusting, and the sight of it is actually a little heartbreaking, as a lot of feathers and features of this animal are developed. But in the Filipino culture, these guys are about as popular as hamburgers in America. While it may look horrible, many people have tried it, claim it tastes pretty good. 2. Frog Sashimi Still beating frog hearts. Not sure I need to say much else, but I will. This Japanese treat is a still beating, still moving frog heart. The chef will actually cut the frog's heart right in front of you, which I think would make most PETA members have a full out aneurysm. The rest of the frog will then be cut up and served to you as well. The dish is only served in a few restaurants in Japan, so if you really want it, for some reason, you'll have to go searching. And the number one is Katsu Marzu. Now, many may disagree with me, but Katsu Marzu is at the top of my list for weird foods. Mostly because Katsu Marzu means rotten cheese, and it's often called maggot cheese because it literally has maggots crawling through it. Um, ew. Pretty much, they take this cheese and introduce this cheese fly to lay her wormy little babies, which will live and feed off of this cheese until they're untimely, untimely end by, well, your mouth. Fun fact, when eating, the, consu the consumers must cover their eyes because the larvae will jump if startled. You gotta work for your food, but make sure you eat this cheese while the maggots are alive, or the cheese is technically toxic. This cheese was banned for health issues, but if for some strange reason you want this creepy, crawly delicacy, you can buy it on the black market. So there you have it. Some really weird food that for some reason falls under the category delicacy. Check out the websites below to see more weird foods that didn't make it on my personal list, and comment below what you think are some of the weirdest foods you have ever heard of. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. Bye.